To begin with seam sample seven, you're going to need your seam gauge out and you will want to move it to three eighths. So that's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. Okay, you're gonna leave it on that. And this is just a practice double turn hem. We will use this when we make the back side of our pillow cover in an upcoming project. So I'm on a three by six inch rectangle. It's just a single layer. And I'm going to take the six inch side and I'm gonna fold it over three eighths of an inch. And so <clears throat> that was a little too wide. I'm gonna bring it back to three eighths. I'm just measuring with my seam gauge and I just wanna make sure those are straight and even. So I'm just kinda of using my fingers to fold the rest of that side down three eighths. And then once it is folded correctly, then I'm going to use my iron to press it in place. So it is three eighths turned under once. This is step one in your written directions. And it also shows you a picture where it would say fold one. So that is fold one. Fold two, this is also step two, you're going to take that same side that you just turned under and you're going to turn it under again. So it's a, even with what you just did, but you could take your seam gauge one more time, measure it up, make sure you're doing three eighths, okay? And then put that second crease in here, okay? So that is step one and two of sample seven. Just to secure this flap in place, we are going to take a couple of pins and pin it down, okay? And now we're going to sew, and I'm gonna use my pin end to point to you where the stitching will be. So we are going to put in a top stitch. A top stitch hem is 1 eighth of an inch or less from whatever edge you're sewing. So it's going to go along this edge. This is my open edge and the purpose of this top stitch will be to hold that down, okay? So I will go in right here and stitch about 1 eighth of an inch away from the edge all the way down. A little trick for you doing the top stitch is to turn your stitch selector to a two. I'm gonna zoom in on the foot so you can see. Um, what you're gonna be looking for here is when I slide my project under here and the needle is now centered, I can line this opening of the foot in line with the edge that I'm sewing. So this kind of opening right there, I'm gonna line that opening on the foot up with that line and it'll keep it nice and straight while I'm sewing. And it'll keep it that right distance from the edge, from the fold. Cause I don't wanna go any more than one eighth of an inch away from the edge of that fold. So you should line it up something like that. You'll wanna check your sample to make sure that you did stitch this side securely down. So now that what was folded over and was able to move is now securely sewn down. Then you would be uh, ready to, once you've clipped up all your threads, you can go ahead and attach this to seam sample number seven.